Hello, in today's video, lesson 6.4, we're going to be covering three-digit addition, regrouping tens. We're on page 293 of the second grade Go Math textbook. All right, so listen and draw. So draw quick pictures to show what you did to solve the following problem. Okay, remember to pause the video at the beginning uh, or at, after I read the problem so that you can solve the problem. On Monday, 253 children visited the zoo. On Tuesday, 324 children visited the zoo. How many children visited the zoo those two days? So again, on Monday, 253 children. On Tuesday, 324 children. So go ahead and pause the video. Draw a quick picture for that problem and solve it, and then resume the video. All right, so I said 253 plus 324. All right, so we're gonna draw a picture to model 253. Okay, so there's our model for 253, two hundreds, five tens, three ones. And we're going to add 324. Okay. Now in this lesson, it says that we're going to be regrouping tens. Okay, so we're going to be isolated to just having to regroup tens. Okay. But we can regroup the ones if we need to because we're familiar with that process. But here we have seven ones. Okay, so seven ones. And in this problem, two, four, five, six, seven. So we don't even have to re um, regroup the tens in this problem, right? We regroup the tens if there's ten or more tens, just like in the ones. Whenever we have ten or more ones, we have to regroup. All right, here we have five hundreds. So our answer is 577. Okay. 507, 10, 7, 1, 577. And I showed that up here with the traditional addition method. All right, so let's look at what it will look like when we have to regroup 10s. All right, so add the ones first. And so after modeling the picture, we have 142, 100, four tens, two ones, 285, two hundreds, eight tens, five ones. So add the ones, we have seven ones. Now move over to the tens. Now here we have 12 tens. Okay, look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens that we're circling, and we have two tens left. So basically, we're going to trade these ten tens for a hundred, right? Ten tens is a hundred. So circle ten tens if you can, trade them for a hundred, okay? So eight plus four is 12 tens. We're going to trade that for 102 tens. Why isn't there anything written above the tens here? Because we didn't have to regroup the ones. There were only seven ones. Okay, so that's why there's nothing in this box up here. We didn't need to regroup the ones. So we've added the tens. Now move over to the hundreds. Well, how many hundreds do we have after regrouping? We have one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. So our answer is 427. So it's really no different than having to regroup the ones. It just happens to be in the tens, and so we're going to trade that for the next greater place value. And in this case, it's hundreds. So let's look at here. Number one, seven and one more one. That's just eight ones. We don't have to regroup. But let's look at the nine, uh, tens. Nine and four is 13 tens. We will regroup that as 100 
and three tens. Now I add the hundreds. Three, four, five, six. Six hundred thirty-eight. Number two. Add the ones. Five and four is nine. Now let's look at the ten. Uh, we didn't have to regroup, right? Ten or more, we have to regroup. Six and five, that's eleven. We will have to regroup. We'll regroup that as one hundred and one ten, right? One hundred and one ten is eleven tens. Three hundred plus two more hundreds is five hundred. Number three, eight and zero. We know by the identity property of addition that that's just eight. Four and three, that's seven. Do we have to regroup? No. So five and 100, 600. Okay, so this problem doesn't require any regrouping. That's why the boxes above the tens and the hundreds are blank. We didn't have to regroup anything. Okay, let's look at page 295. <clears throat> Number four, six and two. Do we have to regroup? No. That's just eight. Five and four. That's nine. We don't, don't have to regroup again. 100 plus nothing? 100. We don't have to regroup. Number five, four and three ones is seven ones. Six and five tens? We should know that that's 11 tens. Okay, seven and two more hundreds is nine hundred. Okay, so we did regroup the tens this time because there were eleven tens. Okay, let's go to number six. Five and two, that's just seven ones. Eight and seven. Again, that's a math fact that you should know as a second grader. Eight and seven is fifteen. We're going to regroup that as one hundred and five tens. Now I add the hundreds. Three plus one is four plus the regrouped hundred, five. Number seven. Okay, so now we're going to have to regroup the ones here. Okay, seven and four is 11, right? 11 ones. Well, we're going to regroup as one ten and one one. Now I add the tens. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens, we don't have to regroup. Hundreds, two and one is three. Okay. So this is seven is the same as this. They just didn't write in the hundreds. Okay. We want to move away from having to write the hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay. So number eight, add the ones, five and four, nine ones. Do we have to regroup? No. Move to the tens, five and zero. Five tens. Four hundred and two hundred. Six hundred. Okay, let's move to number nine. Four and two is six ones. Nine and four. Nine and four is thirteen. Regroup as one hundred and three ones. Thirteen is one hundred. Thirteen tens is one hundred and three tens. 600 plus the regrouped 100, 700. Okay, then we move, they were going to move actually even from dividing it into columns with the lines to show the place value to just a regular vertical addition problem with the ones lined up, the tens lined up, and the hundreds lined up. Okay, but it's exactly the same. It just doesn't have the lines dividing it. Okay, so we're going to start by adding the ones. Eight and two is ten ones. That requires us to regroup as one ten and zero ones. Add the tens. Five and three is eight. Plus one plus the regroup ten is nine. Go to the hundreds. Two plus one is three hundred. Eleven. Five and four ones is nine ones. Don't have to regroup. Three plus one ten is four tens. Don't have to regroup. Four hundred plus three hundred, seven hundred. Don't have to regroup. Number twelve. Three and two ones is five ones. 
5 and 5 tens is 10 tens. Regroup that as 100 and 0 tens. Now add the 100. 7 and 100 is 800 plus the regrouped 100 gives us 900. Number 6. Uh, number 6. Number 13. Rewrite the numbers then add. A 10 to precision. That means be exact. Make sure you're being careful. Okay. Precision. M make sure you line up the place values. 760 plus 178. So when they talk about rewriting, we want it to look like the problems we've been practicing. We want it to be vertical. Okay. We have to line up the place values. Okay. 8 and 0 is 8 ones. You don't need to regroup, right? 7 and 6. Well, that's 13 tens. We do have to regroup as 100 and 3 tens. 700 plus 100 is 800 plus the regrouped 100 gives us 900. Number 14, 200, 16 plus 346. Okay, I check my work. My ones are lined up. My tens are lined up. My hundreds are lined up. 6 and 6 is 12 ones. We will have to regroup. All right, now let's regroup that as 110 and two ones. That's what 12 is, right? Now add the tens. Four tens plus one ten is five tens, plus the regroup 10 gives us six tens. We don't have to regroup the tens. 300 plus 200 is 500. And number 15, 423 plus 285. Five and three, eight ones. Eight tens and two tens is ten tens. Regroup that as one hundred and zero tens. Four ten, four hundred plus two hundred is six hundred. Plus the regrouped hundred is seven hundred. <clears throat> Page 296. These lists show the pieces of fruit sold. How many pieces of fruit did Mr. Olson sell? How many pieces of fruit did Mr. Olson sell? Okay, so I see Mr. Olson, Mr. Lee. So these are the numbers we're going to use for Mr. Olson. So 257 plus 281. All right, 7 and 1 more 1 is 8 ones. We don't have to regroup. 7 and 1 is 8 ones, and we don't have to regroup. 8 tens plus 5 tens is 13 tens. Regroup that as 100 and 3 tens. Hundreds. 200 plus 200 is 400, plus the regrouped 100 is 500. So Mr. Olson sold 538 pieces of fruit. Who sold more pieces of fruit? Okay, so now we're comparing these two, right? So we have to do, we have to find out how many pieces of fruit Mr. Lee sold. All right. Nine and four ones is 13 ones. We have to regroup that as one ten and three ones. Add the tens. We have two, three plus the regroup ten gives us four tens. And 300 plus 200 is 500. All right. So 543 versus 538. So if we were comparing these with less than, greater than, or equal symbols, which one goes in between these? 538 is less than 543. So 543, so Mr. Lee sold more. How many more? Well, let's just count up from 538 to 543. We're at 538, 539, 540, 541, 542, 543. Five. Five more pieces of fruit. And number 18. At the City Park Theater, 152 people watched the morning play. Another 167 watched the afternoon play. How many people watched the two plays? 
how many people watch the two plays. So we have 152 watch the morning, 167 watch the afternoon. So 152 plus 167. Okay, let's add this up. Seven and two is nine ones. Six and five, that's 11 tens. Regroup that as 100 and 110. Now add the hundreds, 100, 200, plus the regrouped hundreds, 300. Okay, so fill in the bubble next to each true sentence about how to solve the problem. You need to regroup the tens as 110 and 9 ones. Is that what we did? Regroup the tens as 110 and 9 ones. No, that is not what we did. We regrouped the tens as 100 and 110. You need to regroup the tens as 100 and 110. That's correct. You need to add two ones and seven ones. That's correct. We have two ones and seven ones. That gave us nine ones. So that's true. You need to add 100 plus 100 plus 100. 100 plus 100 plus the regrouped 100. Yeah, there's three hundreds. Okay. So the only one that wasn't true was the top one. All right. So that's it for three-digit addition, regrouping tens. In our next lesson, we're going to solve prob addition problems, uh, three addition addition, three digit addition problems that require us to regroup the ones and the tens. So until then, I'll see you soon.